Okay, hi everybody. So, if you watched our last vlog where we went to Sheffield, you'll know that we call our channel S21 and Beyond because we're going beyond. We went, we've just been to places in Canada, the US and Alaska and we're also focusing a little bit closer to home. S21 is our postcode in Sheffield. Last week we went to, to Sheffield, we saw a few of the sites and we had some fantastic Korean food. You should really check out the video, it is a good one. Um, Sheffield is the town where we live, that's where Tracy is essentially from. Um, I actually come from a town close by called Rotherham. Now, if you Google Rotherham, you won't get brilliant results. It's not famed for being one of the most beautiful or cultured towns in, in England. It's also had a little bit of negative publicity over the last couple of years. Um, however, today is the annual show, which is a very traditional English kind of thing. Uh, there will hopefully be lots of local cuisine, there will be lots of different arts and craft stalls, and it's all being held in a fantastic park called Clifton Park, which is very big, beautiful, and with a little bit of history to it. So we're looking forward to a nice little trip today. quick tour of the park and then we'll show you what's there. What have you got? So we've just picked up a map that shows us all the areas that we can have a pet today and behind me is like a little dog which is really cute. Me and Paul have been here quite a lot because we used to live nearby but I always think I love coming to the rock garden because it reminds me of the film Labyrinth if you've not seen it you need to check it out and it just reminds me of some of the scenes when she's going through the maze and yeah all the people that are dressed as rocks so if you have a look around it's really cool What are we looking at? So, just have a look at the map, we've come past all the sort of reenactment Viking, we've come past the music tent, but nothing's on at the minute. 
show and go in the Made in Rotherham, which I think is local made here, so let's see what they're selling. Okay, Viking reenactment, not reenactment Viking. What are we looking at, Trace? So, we seem to be in a bit where there's a competition for all flowers. So, there's a variety of different flowers and arrangements, and they've already put all the prices out. So, we're just having a look at who's first, and some of them look alright. Which bit are we in now? So, we've just come through, and we're in the food bit, and we've got a variety of different stalls. So, there's Yorkshire pudding crepes, we've got Greek wraps, we've got fries and nachos, loads to choose from. So we just had the full court uh, sandwich, it was alright, a little bit tough in all honesty, there's a bit too much skin in there, which made it very, very messy. I have uh, pork on my jeans, pork all over my hands, thankfully a couple of very nice people next to get some wipes. Uh, so it's a 6 out of 10 for me, the brioche bun was nice, but it was okay, nothing more. I come from Rotherham and normally when the, the council and local organisations do events like this, they're a bit rubbish. But I'm kind of pleasantly surprised today, it's really good.
of a car, uh, like a vintage retro car uh, yeah. section of yeah. the display, which is kind of cool. On one side you've got like the, the 90s, the 80s, the 70s, and I guess some really older ones behind. I'm like in behind, we've got a Ford Cortina. My granddad used to love a Ford Cortina. He had about four in a row when I was a kid. Absolutely fantastic. You might not be able to hear me because there's a trans kind of musician group act playing over yonder but um, we're just at a small that sells kind of retro kind of funky sci-fi and TV based toys I've got those in my mum's loft from when I was a kid Boba Fett ship, X-Wing fighter and from Return of the Jedi I was, I thought it was really good. I was actually pleasantly surprised. I was born in Rotherham and I, I lived here up until about a year and a half ago. And if we're being really honest, uh, the local government here is not always the best at organizing things. We've been to a couple of events in the park that were, that were not so great. Uh, we came and there'd be like five people there and it was a bit rubbish. Today was really good. There were lots of different things, lots of charities. Lots of interesting organisations, lots of fun activities like the fire eaters were really good. The fun fair was awesome, I quite enjoyed watching the strongmen. I was a bit disappointed with the food varieties on option, a few too many chips for my liking. But overall, yeah, I was really surprised, it was really good. And, I, sorry, go on. And there was loads of stuff for kids to do as well, so if families bring kids with them, there was loads of activities that were all free. Um, arts and crafts, tents, um, and lots of things, circus skills that we could get involved in as well. Yeah, it's really good. Good to get kids off uh, iPhone and uh, Android screens and actually out into the real world. It's pretty good. Okay, bye bye.